Hey there guys, so today we have another review and uh, what we have here is, uh, this one, sorry, it is uh, Bible Belt. This is from Prairie Artisan Ales and uh, this is a collaboration between Evil Twin and Prairie Artisan from Iowa. Uh, basically, uh, Evil Twin is a gypsy brewer, Yepe, and uh, he basically produces even uh, less Jesus or even more Jesus, sorry, is one of my favorite Imperial Styles. Highly recommend this one. This one, if you guys don't know, is like, I think it's up there with uh, Marshall Zhukov, Ten Fitty, Founders Imperial. Definitely pick this one out. And basically, they put uh, in the same treatment that they use for Perry Bomb. So this is even more, uh, even more Jesus with uh, cocoa. I mean, um, coffee, vanilla, chilies, and uh, cacao nib. So really awesome stuff. Excited to dig in. Uh, maybe you should re remove that label for no. We're good. Okay. Um, this is a slightly bigger beer than um, uh, Perry Bomb. This comes at a 13%. Um, really awesome label on this. Uh, if you want, if you actually see, um, it's sort of these kind of like family photos kind of uh, thing. And it has um, Chase, Colin from Prairie, and Yepe from Evil Twin. And they're doing silly poses in cartoons and all that good stuff. So, uh, really fun stuff. Anyway, let's dig into the beer. Uh, the beer pours out, wow, really nice and dark. Um, you get this really uh, mocha, dark kind of brown head on there. Uh, wonderful carbonation, sort of uh, brings, uh, brings it all around the glass. Really beautiful stuff. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> oh my god um i've had this once on tap and i could and i could tell you i could sit there and smell it forever and i'm gonna do that now because it is incredible oh <laughs> jesus christ man that is good so first thing you notice is this like really big kind of sweet kind of vanilla note um yeah maybe i'm thinking again like yesterday i just did the uh, bourbon county coffee it's quite cakey it's very brownie it's sugary it's sweet it's vanilla forward but there's this um, undertone of even Last Jesus also had this beer recently. It has a nice kind of smokiness. Um, it's not really like a Rauch, uh, Rauch beer. It's more sort of towards a uh, meatiness. It's like sort of um, a beef jerky. Almost has this meaty, um, umami, salty slash uh, slightly smoky note. And um, this is where you get that, uh, that kind of note. Big kind of fudgy notes, um, not too much coffee to speak of. I'd say it's more kind of a sweet uh, kind of a vanilla note and also that smoky saltiness in there. So sweet, salty kind of thing going on. I do get that pepper. It, it hits you in the nose a little bit. It's not really spicy too much. It's just like, you know, pe uh, um, think um, uh, cutting into a pepper and the seeds sort of getting into your nose. Cheers. Mm. I will say for some reason, the mouthfeel seems slightly thinner than the base beer. The heat is almost non-existent. I would say it tastes a little bit of pepper flavor. Sort of, um, yeah, a lot of beers, uh, I think Perry at Bottom does it specifically as well, so it's the same treatment, but it's almost like a pepper flavor and not really the heat that sort of attacks the back of the throat or the palate. Uh, I actually expect a little even a little more heat actually. Um, th this is a, I would say Prairie Bomb is a slightly some more subtle kind of beer. This is almost completely lacking in heat. But still, in the front, a lot of kind of chocolate notes. You get a milk chocolate, but then you also get this kind of um, dark hot chocolate, um, almost like a cocoa powder. But there's also this kind of baker's chocolate kind of note, uh, really heavy on the cacao nib. Um, nice kind of vanilla in the mid palate, sort of this creaminess going on. Um, on the back palate, maybe I get a little bit more heat. It's sort of now reaching the back of my throat, but it really had to take a while to grow. It's like a, like a slow kind of snowballing effect. Slowly, slowly getting a touch of the heat. Um, if you told me this wasn't it's spicy, yeah, I would say it's not spicy, yeah. I, I would not uh, worry about giving this to someone who's worried about spicy beers. This is more of a really big, um, robust kind of uh, imperial stout. Um, the adjuncts don't really shine their way throughout too much. I would say the base beer is still the predominant note here. Um, oh man, now I'm getting more of the, um, the lingering um, um, uh, aftertaste. It's sort of this meatiness that I get in even less Jesus, uh, even more Jesus, sorry, I keep confusing the two. Even more, uh, even more Jesus. Again, that kind of meatiness. Um, it's, it's again, it's not smoky. It's not, it's, it's, it's not like a campfire. Some beers have that. The German um, beers have that. Uh, the German Rauchbiers. This is more of that kind of 
meaty, salty. Uh, again, think jerky. Think of that kind of smoky, salty kind of note, and it's really delicious because it really combines well with that kind of dark chocolate. A little bit of sweetness in that chocolate, but also the bitterness of that chocolate really um, plays well with that kind of meaty note I get. Mm. Killer beer. Uh, the base beer is just absolutely fantastic. Wonderful amounts of kind of coffee sweetness I get throughout now. Wonderfully complex. Um, I would definitely say it's better than Priory Bomb. Um, I was actually speaking to friends about it uh, recently. Not a big fan, of, not the biggest fan of Priory Bomb. Uh, I'm a huge Mexican cake fan. Um, and I think Hunapu, Abraxas, Mexican cake, they're all better than this. I Probably a reasonably accessible beer because it does sit on the shelf for some people. So it's probably good for that reason, but not the biggest fan of that, this beer. I would say Prior Brom is a big improvement on that beer. So highly recommend this one. You, I'll, I'll, I'll link you guys to the review of that. Also had Christmas Bomb this weekend. Uh, Christmas Bomb pretty good. Um, it's pretty fun. If you are into Christmas spices and into a bigger Imperial style, then it's right up your alley. Uh, yeah, I was saying even more Jesus. Highly recommend it. As for a score for this one, um, I'm going to try to think about that. Aromatically, I'm much more impressed than the uh, palate. I'm quite surprised that, the, again, the beer seems thinner than base beer. I really could use a bit more heat. Um, I'd say Pirate Bomb probably is a little bit better. Um, let's give, give this beer a 97. Um, yeah, 97. I think that's a good review. I think I, I think even almost the base beer is even better than this. But uh, you guys were climbing for this view. This is Prairie Artisan Ale's Bible Belt. Until next time, guys, cheers. Let me know what you guys think about spicy stouts. If you've had any of the Prairie Bomb and its variants, if you had Bible Belt, um, what do you think about uh, even, more, uh, even More Jesus? Uh, if you guys actually want to see a review of this beer, I'll probably do it. <laughs> I really love this beer, so I'm definitely willing to buy a bottle. This, is, this bottle's been aging since last year, so I'll probably buy a fresh one. But until next time, guys, cheers. Later. Thanks.